Hello friends, welcome to this video on CAT 2019 Geometry Question Solving. So we have not included questions from coordinate geometry or menstruation, only geometry that is um, triangle, circle, polygon, all those type of questions. Only. Okay. So let's start solving those questions again. So we'll start with the first question which is corners are cut off an equilateral triangle T to produce a regular hexagon H then the ratio of area of H to area of T. So we will draw the uh, figure first. Okay, so this is our equilateral triangle. Now if I cut the corner, okay, I have to cut in the manner that this length, this length, this length, okay, all these are equal. Okay. That means these are also equal. So I can write this as A, A, A. This is also A, this is also A. So this hexagon will have each side equal to A and our equilateral triangle will have each side equal to 3A. Okay. So we are asked what is ratio of area of H to ratio of area of T. Okay. But we can see is okay, it means if you see, okay. <clears throat> so Area of these three smaller circles, okay, you mean smaller equilateral triangles, okay, we can write uh, 3 into a square, okay, into 3 by 4a, 4, okay, uh, for the whole thing, okay, that is uh, t, I'm writing about this, these smaller triangles, okay, three triangles, the bigger triangle t, for that it will be uh, a square into root 3 by 4, and each side is 3a, so 3a square, a square already written, so 9. So area of h is 3, say 9 minus 3, 6. So h by t, area of h by area of t is 6 by 9, 2 is to 3. So even if you don't know the formula of x, then that is also fine, okay. Otherwise, if you, uh, you want to use the formula of the hexagon, okay, then uh, we can write it as each side is a, so it is 3 root 3 by 4, uh, sorry, 2 a square, which is h, and 9 sorry, root 3 by 4 into 9 a square. If we solve it, we'll get the same thing, okay? This is 2, 1, this is 3, this 3 will, okay. This will cancel out. Okay. So we'll get this 2 will go up and 3 will remain in the back. And okay, so 2 is to 3. So answer is option. So option 1, 2 is to 3. Simple question. Okay, could be solved within uh, 90 seconds. Now let's go to the second question which was asked in Catalan 19 okay, from geometry. AB is a diameter of a circle five, uh, of radius 5 cm. P and Q are two points of the circle such that the length of PB is 6 and length of AP is twice that of AQ. Then the length of QB is nearest to. Okay, so first of all, we need to draw it again. Okay. Wait a second. So this is a circle we have. Okay. Uh, this is diameter, let's say, call it AB. Now, uh, PB is given as 6, okay, so I'll write, let's say, PB is here, P is here. Okay. Uh, Q, we don't know is where, okay, means Q can be somewhere else, okay. So, AP is twice that of uh, B, uh, Q, okay. So, Q can be here or here, we don't know, okay. Let's assume this here, okay. Doesn't matter, actually, okay. So this is what we have. Okay. Now we are given that AB is 10 because this radius is 5. Okay. And PB is equal to 6. This angle is 90 degree. Okay. This property of a circle. Okay. So that this angle is 90. By, we'll use Pythagoras theorem. So this will become 8. You can remember the Pythagoras, uh, Pythagorean triplet 6, 8, 10. Okay. Now, uh, okay, PB is equal to, we are given PB is 6, okay, length of AP is twice that of AQ. Okay. 
So a q we can write as this is four. This angle will also be ninety. Okay, we could have written p here as well. Okay, that's why I was saying that it doesn't make difference. Okay, if you write q here or in the bottom side, okay, doesn't matter. B q will remain the same. Okay, again we can apply uh, Pythagoras theorem. So uh, q b or b q is square root of ten square minus four square, which is hundred minus ten square minus four square, hundred minus sixteen, which is eighty four. Okay, this will be nine point round about nine point four. Okay, if you we want direct exact values, we can just use this eighty one three eighteen. So it will be exactly ones. Okay, so nine point one is the answer. Let's solve the next question. So okay, we have to just apply uh, this particular means apply Pythagoras theorem to solve this question again. Okay. Let's solve next question again. Okay. In a circle of radius 11 cm, CD is a diameter and AB is a chord of length 20.5. If AB and CD intersect at point E inside the circle, C has length is equal to 7 cm. Then uh, the difference of the lengths of B and A. Okay, let's draw a circle first. Okay. So let's call it. C D is the diameter. Okay, so I write C and C is okay. So C D will be twenty two. Okay, uh, now C is seven. Okay, and then A B is crossing it. Okay, so maybe we can write something like this, or maybe something like this. Okay, so this is A, this is B, and this is point. Now I'll mark the uh, point. Okay, the C is seven. This will be 15. Radius is 22, so diameter is equal to sorry. Radius is 11, so diameter is 22. A we don't know. Okay, now we have to find difference between B and C. Okay, so uh, within a circle, if two chords intersect each other, their multiplication A into E B is equal to C into E D. So A into E B is equal to 15 into 7, which is 105. Now the A B we know is equal to how much? 20. Okay. Now now here we have two options. Okay, one option is that uh, we we can use one of these as x, another one is 20.5 minus x. Okay, but then if you do that, you will get a quadratic equation. Uh, I'll always means we'll always avoid quadratic equation if we are given options to select from, choose from. Okay, if I choose one option, uh, first option, 1.5. So one will be one with option. So we are trying options. Okay, because trying option is easy because we are dealing with numbers directly. Okay, so 20.5 difference. Okay, between these two is 1.5. So one will be 9.5. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Me sorry. One point five will subtract, so one will be nine point five, and another will be eleven. Multiplication of these two will not give us hundred and five. Okay. If you see, uh, that will be less than hundred point. I mean, so it will be hundred four point five. So, if you multiply, okay, we will get hundred and four point five. Now, one thing we can get from here is that we need hundred and five. So the value should be closer to that. Okay, means nine point five into eleven is hundred point five. 104.5. We need 105. That means we the, the values are closer than multiplication is uh, means with the same sum, the multiplication value is higher. Okay, uh, that is a basic rule of uh, means that uh, for GM to be greater than means the, if you want to increase multiplication, the, the value should be closer. Okay, so 1.5. So we have to go for values which are much closer. So among the option on the option available is 0.5. So the I will just check it. Okay, with 0.5 difference, the value should be 10 and 10.5, which is 105. So our answer is option two. So always remember the small thing. Okay, if you use it, okay, you can um, avoid unnecessary uh, quadratic equation calculation as well as uh, hidden trial calculation as well. Next, check uh, question number four. Let A and B two regular polygon having sides A and B, okay, respectively. If B is equal to 2A and each interior angle of B is 3 by 2 times each interior angle of A, okay. So uh, interior angle, if you remember the formula, okay. So for A, it will be like 180 minus 
360 by A. And for B, we can write it as 180 minus 360 by B. B can be replaced with 2. Now, we are given that interior angle of V is 3 by 2 times interior angle of V. Okay, so we can directly write this as into 3 by 2. Let's go to this value. Okay, now we can cross multiply. We'll get 540 minus 1080 divided by A is equal to multiplying with 2, 360 minus this 2 will cancel out, so I'll write it 360 by A. Okay, so I am just replacing B, uh, 2A. Okay, I'm writing 2A in place of B. Okay, so 2, 2 will cancel out. Okay, now I'll take this one, means 180 on the other side, I'll get 1080 by A is equal to 180. Okay, and then we have to subtract this one, okay. Just a minute, I'll just erase this part. We can directly write 1080 minus 360 by A is equal to 180. So, 720 by A is equal to 180. A is equal to 4. B is equal to 8. Now we are asked, the interior, then each interior angle of, in degrees of regular probability one with side A plus B. So, to the A plus B is 12. So, our answer will be 180 minus 360 by 50, 12. Okay. Uh, 360 by 12 will be 30. So, the answer is 150. This is our answer. Okay. So, you have to just remember the concept means this uh, formula of how to, uh, interior angle of any polygon. Okay. Next, next, let's solve next question. In a triangle uh, ABC median AB and AB are perpendicular to each other, have lengths 12 and 9. Okay. I'm just drawing a random a random triangle. So this is what is given to us. Okay, this is not 90 degree, but it will suffice. Okay. So this angle. These are 90 degrees, okay. Now, these are medians. That means, okay, uh, one thing we can say is uh, that this is centroid, okay. So, what centroid does is, okay, that divide the median into ratio 2 is to 1, okay. So, AD is 12. That means this is 8 and this is 4. Similarly, B is 6. So this is 6 and this is 3. Now, one more thing we can do here is, okay, the centroid will remain the same, okay, in fact, means if we draw here, third line, okay, this CF is also uh, the median, okay, because that is the same point, it will go to the same point, centroid, okay. Now, what happens, okay, when we uh, join uh, the medians, okay, uh, the whole triangle is divided into six equal parts, okay, one, okay, part number one, two, three, so area of all these six parts is equal. Okay. Now we can find area of triangle AOE here. Reason being we have this 90 degree, we have length, we have base. Okay. So area of this triangle is equal to 1 by 2, 8 into 3, 12. Since we have six equal parts, so area of triangle ABC will be exactly six times of this number. So, uh, thing is, this uh, concept is something which you need to remember. So, this is one of the advanced concepts. Okay. Uh, if you know the concept, then you can easily solve it very fast. Okay. Uh, if you don't know it, then it's, uh, I mean, it's, the solution can be uh, a bit longer. Okay. So, if we have to find without using this concept that uh, the medians will divide into equal parts, okay. Uh, we have the values of each of the sides. Okay, A, B is 10. Because it's 6 and 8 and A, B is uh, hypotenuse. Okay. Similarly, A, P, A, we can find as a square root of 64 plus 973. And B, D as 
uh, square root of 6 square plus 4 square which is 52 so we have the sides okay because BD is equal to DC and A is equal to EC we can uh, use the round of values to find the solution and we can find the value okay uh, but that will be a bit lengthy okay so that is why the reason why I told you that if you don't know that concept the, it will be a bit lengthy to solve this question next question okay uh, two circles each have radius 4 centimeters touch externally each of two circles uh, is touched externally by a third circle. Okay. So let's draw two circles which are equal in size okay, and touched. Okay, so this is what it uh, looks like. Okay. Uh, if these uh, three, okay, two circles are touched externally by a third circle, so we can draw a circle here. If these three circles have common tangent, now we need a common tangent. Okay. That can happen only if Okay, if we draw a circle here, we cannot get a ten common tangent. We can get a common tangent. So common tangent will be either here. If we draw something in between, okay, then we cannot have common tangent. It means the, uh, the circle can touch both these. Okay, or common tangent can be so there can three two possibilities. Three possibilities. The line here. This is a common tangent. This is a common tangent. Or this is a common tangent. Okay, this one is not possible. So either of these two cases, okay. So our circle should be somewhere here. So I'll draw the circle here. Wait a second. Okay, not tangent. Okay, so this. Pardon me, everyone. Okay, so let's just circle okay. Now our tangent is this line, okay. So okay. now here if you see okay, uh, if you have to solve this question, okay, uh, let's use these lines. Okay, I will use the screen ink, okay. Thinner so that we can draw everything. We can visible everything will be visible. Okay. So this is O. The circles when uh, they touch each other, okay, uh, their centers and the touching point are collinear. Okay, this is the radius of the circle, and I'll draw this perfect. Okay, so let's call this some point C, this B, this center, something O2. Now I'll use a thicker line. Okay, so if we see. O, O2 that is 4 plus R. R is the radius of the smaller circle. Okay. Uh, OC is 4 minus R because these O2, let's call this point D, O2E and CB they should be equal. Okay, parallel lines. Okay, so OC is 4 minus R. Okay, now coming to okay, C, C will be exactly same as this line. Which is the radius, which is 4. Okay, always remember if you are given something like this, okay, means when center, uh, circles are touching each other, okay, you have to always find a right angle triangle, okay, and that is mostly found when, uh, which can be determined when you see how the lines are touching each other, okay, means if two circles are touching each other, the centers should be collinear, so, okay, so the center and the touching point, okay, they should be collinear, so that is the way you get it, okay. Now O C E O C O C and O2. Okay, this triangle is a right angle triangle. Now we can use Pythagoras theorem to solve this one. Okay, so 4 plus R whole square is equal to 4 square plus 4 minus R square. 16 plus 8R plus 16 R sorry, 16 R square is equal to 16 plus 16 plus R square minus 8 R. These two will cancel out, okay. 16, 16 also we can cancel out, okay. We can write 16, R is equal to 16, so R is equal to 1. So the answer is option 3, 1. Okay. So first of all, you have to uh, draw this figure, okay. And then 
that was you means remember this thing okay that centers and centers and the touching point are collinear if the circles are tangent to each other that is a concept we are supposed to use okay this is the last question which was asked in slot 2 okay uh, from geometry okay uh, abcb right angle triangle hypotenuse bc okay so i'll write b c okay this 20 ap is perpendicular from a to b okay this ap maximum possible length of ap okay. now obviously the maximum length will be when these two are equal okay so that is the case okay uh, so these two are equal okay that means okay, so that is first thing okay now what we are supposed to find is the maximum possible length of ap okay. so when these two are equal okay also if you are drawing this uh, perpendicular okay if these two are equal these two are also equal okay. that means this is 10 and this will be 90 degree okay if these two are equal is 90 degree this is 10 okay now if ab and ac is ab and ac are equal okay and this bc is 20 so ab is equal to ac is equal to what we can write is 20 by root 2 Okay, AB square plus AC square is equal to 20 square. If both of them are equal to AB square is equal to 20 square, AB is equal to 20 by root. Okay. Now, so this is root 20 by root 2, which can be written as 10. So, what is AP? AP is equal to This square, okay. AP square is equal to this square, which is 200 minus 100. So AP is equal to square root of 100, which is 10. Okay. Alternatively, what we could have done is, okay, we could have written that AP into BC is equal to AB into AC. Area of the area of the triangle, okay, is BC into AP, so AP into BC, AP into BC, and AB into AC. Okay. Now, since these two are equal, okay, so I can write this as 10 root 2 into 10 root 2. Uh, AP we don't know, BC is 20. That means AP is equal to 200 by 20, which is 10. So we could use that as well. Okay, either is as uh, means. Uh, this is something which we we, we can directly determine well, the values of ap ab ab and ac okay. and then we can use this one or this one both the methods will give you answer is equal to 10 uh, i hope all the solutions are clear okay apply these logics remember the geometry's theorem and it should be a easy same to solve questions in the uh, cat to hum next cat as well thank you very much